so faithful in what they've done and everyone that has clubbed together we were able to buy a, a refrigerator a stove and a uh, washing machine this, these were more needed we wanted to do part of the roof but they said this is what we urgently needed and we thank God for everyone that has been a blessing toward the giving and made these hearts very happy there's just joy over this place our plan was to put a little roof on a covering on a kitchen but as you can see you can't patch this anymore. It's just been patched, patched up, patched up. We believe in God to tear this down and build a brand new kitchen. Then, of course, God has blessed us with the appliances. You have helped us. We say thank you. It's, they are celebrating. They are rejoicing. We say thank you. Thank God for a stove. Six burners on this stove. And they were so excited about the, uh, the oven. <laughs> it is awesome. And then the washing. One lady said it was so difficult, uh, washing. Uh, all the children, by their, their clothing by hand, and this was so desperately needed. We are standing in one of the rooms here at the orphanage. I'm just finding out 16, uh, I thought I heard wrong, but no, 16 boys sleep here. How do you fit 16, not six? 16, 16 yes. boys in this room? They sleep, they sleep here. They eat. Eat. They bath. bath. Hallelujah! We are excited today. God is so good. God is awesome. And uh, we, we went ahead and we got the washing machine. It was over here. <laughs> and it says they got really excited when it showed made in the US. USA, made in the USA. It's a whirlpool, extra heavy duty. Because they have to they have to do washing for more than 50 children and for the staff also that lives around here. And we thank God for how small is somewhere. The little girls here about 79 years old. Batch of them, I would say about eight of them has been sexually abused. 
And then uh, there are others that came because there's no parents, parents have abandoned it. Wash your hands, everybody wash your hands before you eat. Like I think about the kitchen we have in America, and I see this kitchen, and I think if only America would help, you know? Hey. Hey. You left us high. Your amazing love. Anna. I have been happy. Anna. Yeah. Anna. And Ray. That's the result of it. Yeah. You, and you love your baby. Yeah. She's your joy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She was great. But God has given her the grace to continue with her life with her child. And her baby should know the love of God. As the result of this unfortunate situation, God has given this young lady a jewel, a jewel straight from the heavens. So we want me to put it in the freezer, and then uh, I want you to come back again. That's what I want. I want you to come, see here, everybody's happy. We enjoy the food, nice food. Since when we eat the meat? Three months ago. Now is the first time we eat meat after three months, that's nice. So nice. How? But these are the needs. Refrigerator. And they wanted a washing machine. And also the uh, the stove. But in a week, you had something to look into. Something to grow into. It's, it's okay? It's for him. He doesn't want it. You can probably side them on. See if it's your size. See? Yeah, see? It's your size. It's been a blessing though, uh, this day, being able to bless everyone with everything that we've been able to give. From the start to finish, these last moment gifts, it's just, it keeps our heart going. It keeps our heart pumping, you can just feel Jesus inside, and that's what it's meant to be. And here's a young, handsome teenager, and one of our guys just took off his shoes, he said, I want to bless George with his great shoes. He can run, it's looking good on you. God bless you, George. It's a nice one. Awesome, man. You came here, you make different in this church. Bye, you get your candy? Say bye-bye.